Hello Techlet Insiders! Welcome to this month's tutorial. We are super excited about this video because we have created a one-stop shop for everything regarding Android and Tecla. We will begin by sharing how to connect your Tecla E with your Android device. Then we will move into personalizing switch access. Let's pair and connect our Tecla E. To begin, go to Settings. Then, go to Connected Devices. Next, select Bluetooth. Once you're in the Bluetooth screen, you can put the Tecla device in pairing mode by pressing and holding the on-off switch to gear position for three seconds. You will hear a beep and indicator light will turn an amber color. This is the way you will know your Tecla E is connected. The Tecla E will then appear in the list of available devices. If you don't see the Tecla E listed, you can tap on the three vertical dots in the top right corner and select Refresh. Once the Tecla E is connected, go to Settings, System, Language Input, then Physical Keyboard. Make sure the Tecla E device has a layout assigned. We suggest English, US, and the Show Virtual Keyboard option is enabled. This will ensure that the on-screen keyboard is shown even if a physical keyboard is connected. Finally, head to the virtual keyboard and make sure the Gboard is the default keyboard. You can install Gboard from the Google Play Store. See the section Installing Gboard for more detailed instructions. You are now ready to set up switch access with your Tecla E. Autoscan begin, go to Settings, Accessibility, Switch Access, then go to Switch Access Settings. To turn Autoscan on, tap Autoscan and enable it in the next screen. Here you can adjust the scanning rate. Default is one second. This may be too fast for a first time user. You can also add a delay on the first item of the screen to give you more time to adjust to the new screen and the number of loops that the screen will be scanned before a switch access hides. Once auto scan is enabled, we can assign a switch. Go to Assign Switches for Scanning and select Auto Scan. In the next screen, press your switch connected to Tecla E. Once it has been registered, tap on Save. Once you have assigned your switch, we suggest you personalize it with the following options. To begin, look at the scanning method. You can select between linear scanning or row column scanning. Linear scanning scans each item individually. This method may be better for users that require auditory feedback or simpler interfaces. We recommend row column scanning, as it could be faster for most users by first scanning the row and when a row is selected items within the row. Next, we recommend you enable automatically start scanning. Enabling this feature will save time for more switch presses. Here, the scanning starts automatically on every new screen. Next, scanning highlight style. Here you can customize how the interface looks. We usually change the color and thickness so it will be easier to see and follow. Once you activate switch access on the main page, you will see a menu button at the top of the screen and elements of the screen will be scanned at the set scanning rate. One at a time, you can select an item by pressing your switch when the item is highlighted. If you select the menu button, you will have access to the back, home, and overview buttons of the Android interface that will allow you to navigate your phone entirely. You can also have access to the notifications, quick setting area, and you can also access power options from some of the switch access functions that we will review later. Second, let's discuss step scanning. To begin, let's start with settings, accessibility, then switch access. Next, move into switch access settings. We need to make sure auto scan is off. So tap auto scan and disable it if it is on. We can now assign the switches connected to Tecla E. Go to assign switches for scanning. Here the next screen will ask you to press your switch. 
so press the switch you'll use to select. Once the switch press is registered, tap on save. You can go back to the switch access main page and enable switch access. Once you activate it, you will see a menu button at the top of the screen and elements of the screen will be scanned when you press the switch assigned to next. Switch access basics. Once you turn on switch access, a menu button will appear at the top of your screen. If you select this button, a menu will open with the following functions. Back, this will take you to the previous screen or function. Home, this will take you out of the app and back to the home screen. Overview, this will show you your recent apps and you'll be able to shift to a different app. Notifications, this will open the notification bar. Quick settings, this will open the quick settings bar where you can manage your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other settings. And power options. This will give you the option to power off or restart your device. At the end of the scanning cycle, it will highlight close in the top right corner in case you open the menu by mistake and want to get out of it. Point scan. In addition to item scan, switch access also has point scan. Here you can select any point of the screen and interact with it as if you were using a touch screen. To switch to point scan, select the menu button and navigate to point scan and select it. Now you will be able to select a point on the screen using crosshairs. A bar will first come from the top to the bottom. Use your selector switch to activate it. Then a bar will move from left to right to select a point. Once you select a point, a tap will be performed. To return to item scan, select the menu button using point scan. Select exit point scan from the switch access menu using point scan. Auto select. By default, Auto Select is enabled. This feature allows switch access to select items after they are selected. This is the most common functionality. However, there are many times when you would prefer to do something else that isn't selecting an item. For example, you can long press on an icon to the home page to access quick actions on that app. If you are using Point Scan, you can use gestures when Auto Select is disabled. The menu may show different options depending on the context. Item scan will show select, touch and hold, shortcuts, remove, app info, or move item. Whereas point scan will show select, touch and hold, swipe left, swipe right, swipe up, swipe down, zoom in, zoom out, etc. To re-enable auto select, you'll need to point at the menu, select it, and then point to enable auto select. Thanks for watching this month's Techla Insiders tutorial. If you have any technical questions regarding the Android, Switch Control, or the Techla, do not hesitate to comment below or connect with our support team through our website, www.gettechla.com. Thanks again.